Welcome! This video will demonstrate how to connect a Unistream controller to the UniCloud. Here is a sample application for pumps. It has tags and alarms defined. For the Unistream controller, to communicate to the UniCloud, the IP address and DNS server settings must be defined in the project. In the Solution Explorer, navigate to PLC Communications, Physical, Panel Ethernet. In the Properties window, assign the panel a unique and available IP address on the network. Define the DNS server settings. If the HMI will be accessible remotely over a VNC connection, navigate to Password Management and enable VNC Working Mode. The same applies for Web Server. In the Solution Explorer, navigate to UniCloud. Click to enable UniCloud integration. To sign up for the UniCloud, click Create Organization. Or, for returning users, sign in. Enter the cloud credentials. Once signed in, create an asset type. An asset type is unique to the UniLogic project. It defines the structure of tags and alarms that will be communicated to the cloud. Give the asset type a name. The asset type is created. Here are its properties, including organization, name, and status. Under subscription, define the tag timer interval. This is the frequency at which the tags will be communicated to the cloud. In the Solution Explorer, navigate to Asset Type. Here, tags and alarms can be added. Start with tags. Individual tags, arrays, and structs can be added here. I have linked three structs to the asset type. Navigate to Alarms. Enable Alarms for UniCloud. All alarms that are checked will be included in the asset type. Navigate to Remote Access. If desired, check the box for Remote Access Control. Navigate to Asset Type. Sync the asset type to the cloud. Under subscription, an expected number of monthly tags is calculated based on the tags in the tag timer interval defined. Based on this number, one can anticipate the subscription plan required. Download the program. The download is complete. On the HMI, hold the top right corner, UniApps, Network, UniCloud. Click Activate UniCloud. Step one will be to create the asset in the UniCloud. Provide the UniCloud credentials. Assign this asset a name. Keeping in mind, this program can be downloaded to many different machines. The asset was successfully created. Step 2. Activate UniCloud. Load certificate from UniCloud. The load succeeded. At the top, click on Asset, start sending data. This will connect the UniStream to the UniCloud. The state change was successful. The communication status is now connected.
navigate to www.unitronics.io and sign in to your cloud account. Once signed in, navigate to Device Management. Under the Assets tab, the new asset Machine 15, type Unitronics Pump has been added. The status is connected. To change the asset properties, click on the asset. Things like location and custom serial numbers can be edited here. To use the asset type on a dashboard, Navigate to Dashboard Editor. Use the widgets at the top to create a dashboard. Let's use a table to show the speed of the three pumps. Define the asset type, Unitronics Pump, and the data for the widget. Pump 1 speed, Pump 2 speed, Pump 3 speed, the asset name, and the time date stamp. Under Data and Metrics, build the table structure. A table is created with the asset name, time and date stamp, and the speed of the three pumps.